Hello. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Binur Zaimler, and I would like to share my uh, personal life's journey with you. Since I have only three minutes to talk, so I would prefer to read my speech to you now. But first, uh, this room's name is Jupiter. Do you know the definition of Jupiter? No. So this is the only survivor child of Saturn, because Saturn ate the others. <laughs> Uh, it's a big competition, you know? So Jupiter is about, uh, it's related with learning, learning opportunities. So it's a very good situation to be here all together now. And uh, for almost 20 years now, I have been taking on different responsibilities in my work life, mainly the field of human resources and quality management. I have always had a busy schedule that contains business trips, meetings, and people management. Even though I had been interested in astrology, I was totally ill-informed until it became a part of my life eight years ago. In order to become a Western astrologer, one needs to be interested in algebra, astronomy, history, and especially in Greek mythology. Carl Jung, maybe you know him, the famous Swiss uh, psychologist, said, Anything born in the moment of time carries the quality of that moment. We know that stars and planets are uh, alignments are different in every moment and in every location on the Earth. Therefore, a birth chart is unique. A person, a cat, a company, or a country carries always the potential of its birth chart. Birth chart is kind of a code, a potential. There is no one destiny. We have the freedom to choose every moment. Astrology may not stop the rain, but it warns us to take an umbrella, maybe. It took weekend I took weekend courses and studied late into the night during the first couple of years. I wanted to learn and absorb everything about astrology like a hungry child. At first, my husband and my family wondered what was going on and saying, you are an engineer. What's with all this? And however, if you are really in love with something, people around you will see the light and in time respect you. I'm about to complete the Kepler College in California, business and financial astrology, distance learning program, and although I have given seminars on karma and astrology, my deeper passion lies in the business world since I'm currently a part of the business life. I also discovered how important a first trade time, incorporation time, and IP of time for a company. Owners and CEOs have different impacts, of course, employees, on the success, depending on the relationship of their own birth charts with the company. I'm amazed in finding out how planetary cycles affect the economy and business decisions. You can observe economic cycles thanks to business astrology. You can predict challenges, opportunities, products, and employee situations in a specific company. In early 1990s, during the Uranus and Neptune conjunction, Netcom went public and Microsoft became a more common operating system taking over the marketplace, for example. Pluto is about the big transformation and Jupiter is related to optimistic expansion. These two planets conjunct in every 14 years. In 1994, uh, the conjunction was in Scorpio, which is related with the petroleum. Scorpio is a fixed and water sign related with the liquids below ground. Just after the fall of Eastern Bloc, Russian countries like Kazakhstan and Russia opened oil reserves to foreign investors. BP and Chevron and other big oil companies made an entrance to the district. Then oil production capacity was increased in the world. At the end of the 2008, since the Jupiter and Pluto <coughs> conjunction was in Sagittarius, extremely optimistic freedom and wide communication came to the world. The result was to connect people without any boundaries, making huge number of friends, exploring the, in the world. The social network expanded with the number of members of Facebook and Twitter and so on. At the beginning of this year, 2011, when the first difficult square aspect arrived between Pluto and Jupiter, 
We have heard the social med media was banned in China, North Africa, and some other countries. I'm very lucky as my passion for astrology has made me a columnist for Hurriyet Economy on Sundays and for LLA Magazine. Thank you for Elif. <laughs> I suggest you to find some interest that you have fun. If you are in flow, in the flow, if you forget about everything when you are uh, working, you are in love. So stick to that interest and enjoy it. Don't think too much further. Life brings you everything if you have no worry and no fear. And I don't have serious concrete plans about my next steps. I'm so grateful for doing both HR and business astrology at the same time and working for media especially. And I'm so grateful for this moment as well and thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs>